So the first one that we are going to do oops, is we're actually going to answer a call. So um, I'm, what I'm going to do is just kind of go ahead and just step you through the process here. Um, obviously, Chuck did a um, whole bunch with the API. And so here we actually get to see how it is actually used. Um, so first off, we have our application tag, uh, which is the start of our MXML um, Flex application. Um, we are importing uh, the Ribbit. This is our um, SWIC. It's right now in our libs folder. Um, but this basically calls everything that we need for our API. So it's just com.ribbit.api.star. Um, that brings in everything. So we basically reference it. Uh, our ribbit request object comes in, and we call it by ribbit. Um, we give it an ID of request. So whenever we need to do anything like make a call, answer a call, we'll always just go ahead and reference it that by request dot answer a call or request dot make a call. And then in here, you also have a lot of your events uh, that will be handled back through everything. Um, so as we talked before, logging in. Uh, once we click a login button and we call request.login and we pass all the user information in, uh, this is what we'll get back as it's happening. Um, and then, of course, the river ser uh, server connected will be the event that really fires back that says, hey, we're connected. You can do whatever you want to on our system right now. Um, incoming call, just like Chuck said, this is one of those events that gets fired off to us uh, from the server. and. You know, basically right here, we're just listening for it right now. When that's called to us, we actually will call a function down uh, a little bit later. I'll show that to you in a second. It's called handle incoming call. And it uh, basically, we're just going to pass back that event. Um, that event is actually a call object. Um, and I'll show you that down there in the uh, function in a second. So once we get an incoming call, we'll actually have some buttons uh, that will be answer, uh, hang up, or ignore. Um, so if we basically do it, Answer uh, that will get fired off, and it, we will actually be able to uh, then after the call is ended, we'll be able to hang up and uh, basically in the in the call. So call hang up will be dispatched to us, and then also call uh, disconnected. Okay, cool. Um, so that's all that we're really getting uh, that we're really setting up for the ribbit request object uh, and uh, service that we're getting from them. Um, so. Down here next, we, we start coding into some action script um, functions, uh, import our classes, everything that we really need, set our variables that we're going to be using, and everything else. So one of the first functions that we're actually going to do is uh, a login. And so our ribbit request actually had the ID of request, so we're actually going to do request.login. And we're going to have two text boxes. One's going to be a username, one's going to be a password. Um, and then when you guys have signed up for your dev ID and your application ID, you're going to be passing that in too with these last two fields here. So once a login has actually been connected um, and up above, we get a ribbit server connected. Uh, we'll go ahead and actually call a function called handle server connected here, which will actually just go ahead and give us our status. Just saying, hey, we're logged in, we're ready to go. Because really what this application is doing is listening for an incoming call. So our next function is actually where the, um, everything gets set on our screen visually when an incoming call comes in. So we're doing a handle incoming call. And that right now is a ribbit response event. And what we're able to do here is go ahead and set the incoming call. We're setting the variable of incoming call as a call object. Um, so inside of incoming call, we have different um, variables passed to us, and one of them is the caller, which is actually going to be the phone number of the actual person calling us. And we'll go ahead and, and we have a couple buttons there, so we'll go ahead and enable those just to let you know, hey, go ahead and answer or ignore it. Uh, if the answer button's pushed, um, it will actually call this function here. And we will actually set the incoming call as the active call. Um, once, when that button is pushed, we actually call the request, we call the ribbit server, and pass in, pass in the function, uh, pass in the method uh, answer call, and we pass in the active call, which has all the information like the call ID, the caller number, everything like that. Um, go ahead and 
um, enable and disable the buttons. Uh, we don't need to answer the call again, so we go ahead and, and disable those and just enable the hang up button. Uh, if we ignore it, we actually just pass it back to the ribbit request that, hey, we're just going to ignore this call and call that function um, and set the buttons appropriately. <clears throat> um, if we have answered the call and we're talking, once we're really done, uh, actually first what we'll handle, what will be sent off is a call hang up or hung up and that will be actually through our uh, handle call hung up function. And then next, what will finish the call is the call, dis, uh, call disconnected and that function there is going to be called handle call disconnected. Um, so down below is actually our layout of the screen. So you see we just actually have a panel. Um, this is actually our just login form. So we have username, password here, um, and our login button. And down below we actually have another panel uh, that will actually display the incoming call number. We have a, a text field with an ID incoming call number and um, our buttons. So when the phone call comes in, <clears throat> that text field will actually get populated with the incoming call number by just referencing the ID tag dot text and giving displaying the incoming call number. So what I kind of want to do is just go ahead and show this to you. So here basically you can see that none of the buttons are available yet. Uh, we're not actually logged in. Okay, so we'll let the network here kind of go. As you can see, we're visually kind of displaying, hey, we're logging in right now, and now we're logged in. And so what I'll do is I'll actually call this application and soon you'll actually see the incoming call number pop up and the answer and ignore buttons actually also become enabled. Yep. So once we click the uh, answer, that's where we're calling the request.answer uh, function. Go ahead and allow the microphone there. And then we can call the, the hang up there. <clears throat> 